and it's Jasmine and I'm back with some more bohemian and Scandinavian home decor today I'm gonna do three art projects uh, like wall art that are really simple and budget-friendly that anybody can do trust me if I could do it you could do it that's for sure if you noticed I posted a week ago and I'm posting again today because I have my stuff together and I'm finally becoming regular at posting hopefully it lasts longer than just one video but <laughs> we'll see I'm doing my best thank you guys so much for watching let's jump in so for the first project if you're following me on Instagram you've already seen this but I grabbed these three bamboo frames that I found at the thrift store with my friend Lindsay and there was such a score for all three of these I think it was under $14 so I just wanted to paint over what was already there I just grabbed some plain white paint and painted over it and got it ready and then once it was dry flipped it over put some blue tape to kind of create a little border around the art that I was getting ready to paint then I grabbed a sharpie which probably wasn't the best idea but then I just began to kind of sketch out shapes of what I thought may look good on this canvas um, with the idea of the art that I had in mind so after that, I just grabbed this Drydex spackle and I just began to spackle it on the areas that I wanted this texture. So I wanted to make sure that as I'm spackling it that I'm leaving like the lines and the texture that I want that will show through once it's dry because I am going to paint over it. You may recognize these colors if you've been watching any of my other DIY videos because I've been using the same sample paints since I bought them. They're amazing, they have not run out yet, so it's really cool. There's two like more terracotta colors and then one that was just a lighter like beige color. So I did one of each of the three art pieces in each of those colors. Then I grabbed some raffia and I just kind of measured how long I wanted it to stick out from each side so it wouldn't overlap. And then I cut this one to look a little bit more on the fringy side. But there is raffia that exists that is more fringy naturally, but this is the raffia that I had, so I was just working. time it has not really rained this year probably like three days total something really low I don't know but I'm gonna go get some art supplies for um, the projects I want to work on today and then yeah we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby I'll take you guys with me and yeah let's do this and we're here I love the basket section and look at this really cute tray it's so cute like on a coffee table or something okay it's a little overpriced <laughs> but it's still cute These are like the floating shelves I used to have. Ooh, and they even have one of these like peg racks. For $9.99 and it's 50% off. Maybe I'll grab one. It's 
so I'm not really seeing what I want. Like, I want something with texture, but more like a thicker texture, not like this. Okay, but how pretty is this? This little stool is so cute. It could be a plant stand. It's $20.99, but it's on sale, like 50% off. Oh my gosh, I love it. So I think I can find something probably in this section. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. This would be cute like on a basket wall. Look at this one. With the like trim, it's all frayed edges. Oh, also a lot of you guys asked me where I got my table runner that's under the TV or my placemats on the nightstands. These are the ones and they're from Hobby Lobby for 40% off right now. Originally $20. I found this a really pretty mug. Me and Hubby have been drinking tea every morning together and I've been looking for some mugs and these are 40% off. Super cute, this like terracotta color. Yeah, I'm having a hard time deciding. I really like the tall ones, but these short ones are super cute too. And then I'm for sure getting this one, but there's only one, so I'll probably get a set of either the brown or the beige. So as you guys can see, I don't have a crazy DIY studio or art space. It's just me in my 420 square foot apartment. Um, just trying to do some art projects. So I have this ribbon that I grabbed from Hobby Lobby. I was considering using actual like fabric and cutting strips to do what I'm about to do and I'll show you but I honestly the thought of cutting strips really straight was very frightening to me because I'm not that great at cutting straight lines and so to do like a bunch of them would be very challenging. Um, so, and I don't have like a bunch of tools and things to help me cut straight. So, and I don't want to buy them at this point. So I'm thinking ribbon is already straight and in strips. I really liked this fabric cause it looks kind of like linen, um, which is like kind of the vibes I'm going to go for in here, like really neutral, just texture. Um, but I also really liked, and I think I shared it with you guys at the store. I'll see if I have a clip of it, but I really liked the leather. There was like a leather fabric there, but they didn't have like a ribbon of it. They just only had like the actual fabric. So I would have had to cut it. So I'm just gonna use this, see if we like it, see what we think about it. And um, hopefully it works out well. I'm not the great artiste. I'm just a black girl in her LA apartment trying to make cute home decor. So um, yeah, let's see how this turns out. Hopefully it's good. So I obviously did not look at the measurement or consider that this would not be enough, but it's way not enough. So I think I'm just going to go back to Hobby Lobby and get the leather fabric because I actually really liked it. And I'm going to try to figure out how to cut it evenly, as evenly as possible, um, so that I can do that because I'd rather if I'm gonna spend the extra money, which I have a 40% off coupon, but if um, If I have to like I'm not gonna get a bunch of these rolls of fabric I would have to get probably like five of them and they're ten dollars each So I think I might as well just grab the the fabric the leather the light leather fabric And I think it would look really good in our living room like the look that I'm going for um, so I think I'm gonna do that. The leather, the light leather fabric would be really pretty. So I'm back to exchange the fabric, well the ribbon for the fabric. 
Okay, so I grabbed this. It's $9.99 a yard, and I'm gonna use a 40% coupon. That's one yard? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm not, I'm not one yard. Let's do two yards. Two yards. So with my coupon, it ended up being under $16 for the two yards. Okay, I don't know if this is confusing the way I'm going to say this, but to make sure that I have enough to go all the way across this way and then all the way across this way, I'm going to the piece that it's on right now. I'm gonna to use to do the short direction, and then I'm going to cut the longer pieces from here to go this way. And if I still need more, I'll use some from there. So in my house, I don't even have a ruler. I know that's sad, but um, I'm just using my level to kind of make each strip. I'm just drawing out the line and then I'm just going to cut it. Okay, so I cut my first strip. As you can see, there's a little bit of a discrepancy there in the size. But I'm thinking once all of the pieces are on, it probably isn't that big of a deal. Okay, so I've cut all the ones that go um, this way, so I'm just gonna cut the ones that are gonna come down the opposite way. Um, and then I will staple them on, and that's it. So this might sound like it took a lot longer than it really did, but I just stapled the ones all the way across the top, and then I flipped it over and stapled all the way across the bottom. Then turned it on its side and stapled one side at the top, wove it all the way down, and then stapled the bottom side. It probably took me less than 20 minutes for this part of it. So I don't know if you guys remember, I talked about a while back, me and hubby went to visit some of our best friends in Sacramento, and I picked up these dried florals. I also picked up a couple frames from Ikea while we were there, so I thought it would be cool to use the frames that I got in Sacramento and these dried florals that I found to create a cute memory of our trip. And so I just hot glued these dried florals down to some art paper and I hot glued them at the top and then again at the stem just to make sure that they didn't move around when I put them in the frame. Um, our frame was actually pretty deep so I can keep the dried florals intact the way that they are. But if you wanted to dry out some plants and flatten them yourself, you could just put them inside of a book under a stack of books just to make it heavy and allow them like a day or two to dry out. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm definitely switching up my vibes. I wanted to be more minimalist and more simple just all around our whole apartment. So I'm kind of on a process of transforming our space to be more like this vibe. So let me know if you guys are interested in seeing like how I downsize and simplify and just make our space more minimal. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know which art project was your favorite. I did end up selling the one with the raffia on it just because I didn't have a space for it in our home. Um, but I did keep this guy here and also um, the two with the dried florals. I really love those two. I think I'm going to hang them in the hallway because our dining room I already have um, those wall tapestries that I showed you guys in the last video. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. Um, please subscribe to my channel. If you like the content that I'm bringing, it helps me to grow and to just um, keep building my channel. And also, if you like my videos, please give it a thumbs up. So I know it's great feedback and keep spreading the love and light as always. And I will catch you on the next one.